I'm Juliet Bremner and I've been covering the Johnny Depp libel trial here at the High Court for the last three weeks. And this is a selection of some of the more bizarre moments that we've seen. We'll start with what the Americans politely call the poop incident in his bed. This came about when Johnny Depp claimed that somebody, and he strongly suggested that it was Amber Heard, his ex-wife, had left human faeces in his bed. It was discovered by one of his cleaners who told the court that she was convinced that it was a human and not a dog, which was the alternative. And it ended up with Amber being called Amber Turd because of her suggested inclusion in this act, although she strongly denies it. Now, as for the dogs, they're called Boo and Pistol, and they've had their own starring role because Amber Heard's side suggested it was, in fact, Boo, who had become incontinent because he ate a bag of Johnny Depp's marijuana and this had given him brain damage. And as a result, she said he used to poop on everything in sight, including on the bed. And she suggested this was probably the reason for that. They also starred the dogs in another incident when Johnny Depp had jokingly, we're told, said he wanted to microwave one of them. And he'd also hung one out of a car. And as they drove along, he'd howled in time to hanging out of the car. He said all of this was not true. And then another thing that sticks in my mind is the sliced finger moment. This happened in Australia in 2015 when Mr Depp was filming the latest Pirates of the Caribbean film and they had an extraordinary argument there. Both sides agree there was an argument but Mr Depp says that it ended in her throwing a bottle at him and slicing the end of his finger off. However, Amber Heard says this is nonsense and that he did it to himself by smashing a Bakelite phone so hard repeatedly against the wall that one of the bits splintered his finger. We don't know which of those versions is true, but what we do know is that when she came down in the morning, she discovered, she said, smashed, smashed potatoes smeared across the walls and also pieces of raw meat which had been left stuck in various places around the house and she found on the mirror and a wall painted in Johnny Depp's blood from his finger and then dipped in paint lots of messages to her. We also heard about an incident on a staircase in which it's alleged Amber Heard was herself violent to Johnny Depp. She admits that she did have to step in. She says that this was because she remembered somewhere in the back of her brain that he'd once thrown Kate Moss, the British model, down a staircase and she thought he was going to do the same thing to her sister so she'd stepped in to stop him doing that. And then we had the ice cream incident. This was one of a, a, a series of bizarre photos which were shown to the court. In this one, Johnny Depp had obviously been taking some kind of substance, and he admits himself he took everything from cocaine, ecstasy and alcohol from the age of 14. But he slumped in the corner with a pot of ice cream which has run all over him, including over his trousers. And we saw another picture, also with the drugs theme, in which uh, we saw saw lines of cocaine cut up on a table and then a tampon applicator next to them and the court was told that this was one of the tricks that he and Whitney, who was the sister of Amber Heard, often used to perform using the applicator to snort the cocaine. And I'm going to finish on what was a bombshell video. We saw this just at the end of last week and this was a video from 2006 or 7, which showed Whitney Heard, as she's now become Whitney Henriquez, Amber's sister, in a reality TV show. She's sitting around a pool with lots of her co-stars or female friends, and they are saying to her, look, you've been hit by Amber. Look, look, what's all those bruises on your arms? And they appear to look at her arms. And it was said right at the end of the trial that this proved that Amber could be violent. Her side say that's nonsense. It's a complete irrelevance and it should be ignored. So with that, best of luck to Judge Andrew Nicholl, who is the man who has to decide which side is telling the truth.